Austin, Texas? Yes. Um, now, it's, is it your first time here under this moniker? Third. Third time. But the uh, first time with this this band, we basically we, we got a whole new lineup on purpose and uh, kind of dropped all the songs and started over. So this is our first time here, let's say. So it's almost like a, it's almost like a rebirth. It is a rebirth, yeah, it is. It is, it's, it's their first time here. Yep. So they've been living it up last night a little bit. Jesse? Yeah, trying. Did you do one of those Corona sh like drink things with it upside Corona down? Rita? Corona, Corona Rita. Rita. Never in my life have I seen anything like It's this. a Corona, it's you know, beer, turned upside down in a drink. In a margarita. In a, in a margarita. margarita. And then if you have three bottles, it's called a cockfight. Like, is, yeah, that, is that? That's what the term is. With three bottles in it, it's called a cockfight. And, um, you know, like, like a chicken. I don't, yeah, did you try the cockfight? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I have it's it's delicious. It. It's amazing. Whoever came up with that, it's just a wizard of physics. It's, it's probably an accident. Physics. Oh, I spilled my Corona in your margarita. That's what happened. We got five shows, two today, two tomorrow. You know, and um, today's daytime shows, like 2 o'clock, 4.30. Tomorrow's something and 1 a.m. So, big space in between to screw your life up. Time to get a good nap. <laughs> yeah. Well, Liv fan how, living up. How do you kind of keep the energies high at something like this, which is so full on, so much to do? I don't know. I, I mean, maybe some bands it's drugs. Some other bands it's more drugs. Um, I don't know. For us, I think we're just you know young at heart. We're young. We're young enough to have a lot of push-ups, sit-ups. Pace yourselves. Yeah. Try to get good rest. Find somebody well, to honestly, carry. You know. Find somebody to carry you from venue to venue. Water Sit. intake is huge. Yeah. Yeah. He drinks water for the whole band. Yeah. I carry the water. Yeah. The camel. Let's get the water weighted. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. They just suck it from my fingers and. Thirsty. Only in America. Well, we're going to bring this show to Australia hopefully one day, so get ready. <laughs> well, we certainly hope to see it, and when it comes to uh, your current tour, um, I guess we're getting a little preview of, of what to expect from, from you from the, from the full length. Yeah, yeah, we're doing, uh, they're all new songs in the full length, basically. I think you would only hear one online, and um, we're doing five of them live? Five of them live? So yeah, they're basically all new. Nobody's heard them unless you know, you're coming to these shows. Um, then we do uh, a week-long tour with the Cribs, you know the Cribs, in America, and then we um, do some little mini tours here, and then we, we go to the UK, Europe, for two months with us headlining somehow, but I guess we're doing that. It looked like a pretty extensive tour. Yes, and that was only the first little part of it. That's only the UK, Irish dates, like the European dates are what I'm terrified of. You know, like, they're talking about going to countries I don't even know how to pronounce, like countries I'd never been to in my life. You know, like Greece. I don't know how to pronounce that. No, no, I'm <laughs> I was I had a terrible sense of humor. But, um, but yeah, yeah, we're going to tour basically the next year at six to nine months total. So my life at home will slowly turn into hibernation. God damn it. All of us. Seriously. I'm like, I'm telling them, like, okay, turn off your car insurance, turn off your cell phones, we're going to Europe. You know, because there's no reason that, you know, it's like move back in with your parents, everybody, if you can, you know, save money because we're just, you know, we're going to go live on the road. I don't know, it's the reason why people are in bands. You know, if it's not, then I don't know. It's a selfish reason. Now, when you look at the EP, which has been released and comparing it to the full length, does that, does that give us a good indication of the Beatles-esque sound that we're going to be hearing on the full length? Not one song from the EP no. at all relates to anything on the full length. Yeah, no, we dropped all those songs. We don't play them. We play two of them live. And we're, by the time the album comes out, we won't play any of them. I so, think we went a totally different direction in the EP altogether on the, the writing. Yeah, the EP was very 50s. Nardwar! I'm into it. Do-do-do. I can't do the do do It's the tongue. I have a lazy tongue. Do 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 I can't. I can't do it. It did? You loosened it up. Thank you. That's Nardwar from Canada. When, when is the record being released? In, uh, in the UK in May. In the US, probably not till August. And um, it's extremely different. There's no, it's not retro sounding at all. Like, we, I just decided to make a fun party record, like, modern it up and, you know, sounds a lot like Lady Gaga or, I'm terrible at describing what we sound like. Lady Gaga meets the Beatles. Yeah, Lady Gaga meets the Beatles with um, <laughs> Devo. A little bit of Devo, Divas. 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 A little bit of Whitney Houston thrown in there just for good measure. Shout out to her. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Honestly, um, I don't know. I've, I this band with the new songs has totally made me feel young again. Honestly, kind of. You know, we were doing ballads before. The EP was, had a lot of slow songs. Like there might be one or two in the album, but overall, it's just you, the songs you played at a house party, get a crowd going. So having a good time. Wouldn't you say, Griffin? Absolutely. He's the anchor. I want to rock out. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Why don't you? I, I try. He does. I attempt it. I don't know if I do or not, but that's for you to